So the topic for today will be zirconium dioxide because zirconium dioxide is a fantastic material to work on. Of course, it, our, our lion's share of our daily work is based on zirconium dioxide. You see here the beautiful properties of zirconium dioxide. It's semi-translucent, so it can cover discolored dyes and more or less um, metal cores as well. So we'd like to explain something about a new concept, and the new concept is the angulated screw channel concept. And you will see this in the next minutes. What does it mean, actually? Very often in our life, or actually every day, we have to notice that the screw axis is coming directly to the incisal edge or even on the buckle side. The trend in Belgium is to make all the single crowns, even in the arterial region, a screw-retained crown. So this is, therefore, a perfect concept. This means that we can create a screw channel in an angle of 25 degrees and this 36 degrees around. Yeah, but what's the benefit now of a screw? The benefit in, instead of there cementing. is no cementing, there is no trapping of cement after cementing. That's that's the so the easy of use. You easy mean? of and use uh, actually. Less time consuming. Less time consuming, easy consuming. to handle, and I can ensure you that if you have that screw in your hand. You can fencing with the screw without falling down the, the screw. Yeah, it snaps. It's good. a new word for me. Screw retained or cemented, it's very easy. You could take the two master cards, you put it by hand together. When the guide pin disturbs, you can really create a screw retained crown. Otherwise, you have to make a cemented crown or an angulated screw uh, concept. This was for us the missing link in the anterior region because there are a lot of dentists who are not uh, happy to cement crowns, cement trapping and so on. Here, you can see directly the screw axis hole, middle in the tooth, perfect. You can't damage the incisal edge. You can install the function because the mesial and the distal parts, they have to be in contact, not the middle of the tooth. Before this concept, we couldn't reach this screw retained crown in that way. This After is what we mostly see and what you see on your bench as well, mm -hmm. that the implants are installed this way. This is the the shape of the bone, and one can only install an implant yeah. where there is bone. So. But you see in the middle of the screen that we have space to, to build up the incisal edge because we need our, our, uh, a certain kind of uh, translucency. But the biggest advantage in this case was they can create a retainer after an orthodontic treatment. They can bond with composite because they filled the screw channel with composite, and they can actually bond the retainer on this kind of uh, composite. If you should have done a uh, cemented crown on ceramic, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm.